Divas and Devo, so she girl April, and today's video is by one of my favorite wig sites, divaswigs.com. I have worked with them like forever, so it's always a pleasure to do one of their new units. This one is the HD Swiss Lace Invisible Knot. I have a 22 inch straight virgin hair, and her name is Kayla. She's layered, she's real cute. I didn't have to do anything to her. She's straight out the packaging. I did look at her, of course, but yes, you girls, you don't have to do anything. Thing. You might want to add a little bit of your own curl touch to it. You might want to customize the cap, like cut a little bit of the ear flaps if it's too big, but you don't have to wash it. You don't have to bleach it. You don't have to really do too much. So the packaging comes just like this, which it says Divas Wigs on packaging, white box, gold lettering, get a satin bag to put your wig in, which says Divas Wigs. You also get a paddle brush. You'll also get a stocking cap, get the Divas Wigs pamphlet inside. There are a lot of companies that do advertise that they have Swiss lace or HD Swiss lace, but a lot of times some of them can be knockoffs, like they're not really, you know, fakes, or they're not really real. They're kind of like fakes, okay? So, for one, I'm going to show you guys. There's two of these that I have here. This is the normal lace, which is, you know what I mean? the real Swiss soft HD lace. And this one right here is the fake Swiss lace, okay? This is the fake HD lace. So you can tell a little bit in camera or on camera which is which because the real HD lace is a lot more transparent than the fake, okay? Or also it's a lot more transparent than just regular lace frontals as well. On my forehead, I have both of the laces laid up against my skin, and you can always tell which one is the actual real HD transparent lace, which is the one right here that is more kind of like blended in with my skin tone. It's less visible. And then on the opposite side is the fake one, which you can see a little bit more. This is the one that I was talking about that gets advertised as you know, HD tri Swiss transparent lace, but you can also see it. And this is Diva's Wigs Authentic Swiss Lace. This one here is a little bit more whitish in tone. You can definitely see it even with my hand. And this one right here is the authentic one. So you can always tell the difference. You can still blend these, but it is a lot thinner. The HD is a lot thinner, so it makes it more, you know, undetectable. And then these are just like the normal lace, which is a little bit thicker. Not much in comparison, but you can definitely feel it when it's in your hand. And you can also see the difference up against the skin tones. So on this side, we have the real HD Swiss lace. And then on the opposite side, we have the normal lace or also advertised as the fake Swiss lace. You can also tell the difference when it's up against my hair tones. You can see through one a lot better than you can see through the other. So this is the fake, which is a lot thicker. And here goes the authentic one right here. So she's already been styled somewhat like pre-styled. You know, I'm definitely going to have to put some curl in here. It is a 13 by 6, so you are going to receive it like so. There are combs at the temple, and there's also the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape. And then right here on the sides is the elastic bands that you can remove, which I think are really convenient, and you will also get those in your packaging as well. I did not bleach it. I did not purple shampoo it. I did not even use any of my tinting spray because a lot of times I've noticed with some of them is that it will run, so you definitely want to let it sit in the hair or on the lace wig for a few days prior to styling it. Let's get into this. All right, you guys, so let's get into this wig tutorial. So as you guys see, I did place the adjustable or the elastic band, which is removable into the cap, which fits very snug. It's a good thing that you are able to adjust it and you can leave it off if you don't want to wear it. Now, as you guys see, this lace melts directly into my skin it's very transparent this is the invisible transparent hd lace frontal and if i have not mentioned her name is kayla in 22 inches and it's a layered straight 
lace front so I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut away at the lace I did try to trim a previous wig with the eyebrow trimmers but unfortunately my eyebrow trimmers were a little dull so I am just decided to go back to the scissors and I'm not gonna cut straight across I'm kind of cutting in a jagged edge or kind of like uneven so that way it a little bit look a little bit more natural and being that this lace is so transparent it was a little bit hard to see but that's a good thing because it will directly melt into your skin tone so this portion right here I'm just gonna allow the wig to just make it fit perfectly because a little bit is over my ears so I'm gonna cut off that excess lace and I just take my rat tail comb and I part it right directly above my ears and then I just cut away and that's it you just repeat that on the opposite side now just to make me some sideburn hairs because you guys know I really really do like the sideburn hairs I prefer those even if there's no baby hairs I definitely need sideburn hairs but for this tutorial I'm still going to cut some of my baby hairs I may not use all of them but it's just a force of habit and sometimes you may need them sometimes you may not so why not just add them in now while I'm applying the lace front so I'm just going to use my rat tail comb along with that I'm going to use my I got to be glam force hairspray which I absolutely love and I have to order some more today but this product dries super quick so if you don't have a blow dryer you can just spray in small sections and allow it to air dry but make sure you're using your rat tail comb to press the lace onto your skin so that way it will adhe adhere to you but for me I'm going to use my blow dryer on a cool heat and I'm just going to press that lace into my skin now first of all it is very transparent I like the fact that I wasn't I didn't have to do anything meaning I did not have to bleach any knots didn't have to pluck any hairline the only thing that I had to do actually was install the lace wig onto myself and of course I'm going to do a little bit of styling just to give it a little bit more bump and curl at the end And like I said, this will hold for about a good few days, like three to four days, sometimes five, but you'll definitely need to put a scarf on at night. Now I am going to use the eyebrow trimmers just to cut the baby hairs. They definitely were not sharp enough to cut the lace. I didn't want to make any mistakes, but for the baby hairs, I definitely will use them. I don't really want them, you know, as a blunt cut. I don't want them to even. So I do like the fact that they're a little dull because it'll make them kind of like curl at the end and they won't look so sharp and I really don't want my baby hairs to look like they were just cut so I do like to use the eyebrow trimmer for that and I'm just cutting them in an angled direction they don't all have to be the same length because you know they're baby hairs so they're not supposed to be perfect and as for the sideburn hairs I feel the same way about that as well so I'm using the got to be volumaniac styling mousse i do like this mousse but i have noticed that once i apply it it kind of like lifts my lace so i'm not sure what products are in this to make my lace lift but i'll definitely stop using this and going back to my old mousse i decided just to uh, use the mousse just to sculpt my baby hairs because i didn't want them hard i prefer using the mousse there are some really good mousses at the dollar tree the got to be one is okay but i do prefer the other got to be that i have and my good handy dandy green toothbrush which you have seen in many videos i am using that to style my hair and also i'm going to be using the nozzle of my blow dryer on high heat just to press the front of the hairline down just so that it will lay a lot flatter but if you cannot withstand this heat you can definitely try it on like a medium or cool heat or you can just use your hot comb and you just want to repeat those um steps on the opposite side if you want baby hairs if not then you definitely do not need it with this unit at all and this is the problem i was having right here with the mousse and i'm not really sure why i applied more but i do like it but yeah you have to be really careful when applying the wig with the volumaniac got to be hairstyling mousse and i'm just going to press it down on the opposite side as well and then i'm going to kind of like do um a little bit of baby hairs in the front and that's about it as you guys see the lace is really nice on this unit you know it does melt it's very transparent you know I've worked with Divas wigs for quite some times and their company has really evolved a lot which is really great because you know you're getting a good wig the prices are affordable but their products are really worth giving a try I'll definitely link everything down below for you guys 
this is one of their many different new wigs that they have out where you can just take, basically take it out of the box and put it on. So just to add a little bit of makeup onto my lace, just because I want it to be the exact same color, I'm just really self-conscious, so I just decided to dab on just a little bit. Though it's not really needed, but you know, a force of habit. Now if I forgot to mention, it is a 13 by six, so it has a lot of parting space in it. And even though it's a lace frontal, you can definitely still put it up in a ponytail or a bun. You'll just need to tack it down on the sides or basically in the back. You know, us ladies, we really know how to finagle a wig. So girl, you can finesse this. You do not need a full lace wig to put any type of hairstyle up in a bun on a lace wig. Now I'm just gonna use some of this mousse just to make sure that my part is, you know, visible. Then I'm going to go in with my hot comb just to allow the part and the area on um, the front to lay a lot flatter. If you're looking for a good hot comb, you can check out your local Walmart. I did purchase this one from there and it was $20. It gets hot within like five minutes. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is where the on and off switcher is at. But, you know, once you get used to it, then, you know, it's not a problem after a while. But look at the hairline, girl. Like I'm saying, really nice wig. And go hide away from the lights But I don't dare to I'm too fragile And for that I do apologize Maybe someday we can work it out But I'm afraid it's too late to try Baby, I don't dare to love you And you know the reason I'm just going to melt that lace right into my head on the opposite side And just be extra careful if you are using a hot comb You do not want to burn yourself Normally what I do is I style the wigs on my mannequin head But for right now, I'm going to take out this one and a half inch barrel and I'm just going to give the curls a little bit more bump and spray it down and girl we are good to go I used to feel safe next to you, babe. Now I'm thinking I deserve a hit. Maybe someday we could work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know a way to leave this way? She came out real nice. I thought I would give you guys a really detailed tutorial of how I would install my lace wig. Sometimes I'm really quick about it. You know, I just thought I would take my time, but the wig melted like butter, okay? Really nice unit. I did use some of my pressed powder only because it was just like a couple of knots in the front that were a little bit black. So other than that, it was, it just came out perfect. I really didn't have to do much styling, you know, don't need the baby hairs if you don't want them. Thinned out really nice the way they did the hairline. It looks really, really natural, okay? You know what I mean? It blended in. It is very, very transparent. The lace, the knots that were bleached were really good. You know, there were some, like I said, that was in the front that wasn't bleached but no big deal the wig fit really comfortable and also i forgot to mention to you guys that because it's so like transparent and it looks so realistic you can definitely put this one up in like a bun or a high ponytail you just have to make sure that the flap is down in the back this looks really natural you know you do get plenty of parting space in this unit and you don't really have to do much of anything. So I really do like the fact that, you know, Diva's wigs came through with this one. Really, really upgrade. I like this a lot. Ayla is cute. So you guys, let me know what you think. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. All of the information will be posted in the link below or in the information box down below. And on that note, stay Diva and Divalicious. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Uh, uh, uh,